Hey, and welcome to another episode of Wrench. On this very show, we are going to finish the month long saga of the rear seat delete fabrication in the back of this 1969 Porsche 911S. You might be thinking to yourself, Michael, how could you be brimming with that much confidence? And I am, because it's already done. I am celebrating big time that this thing is finally done. The celebration method, show television. I've already done it. It is reverse, back to the future, time travel, kind of like the time travel books that I've been listening to while I've been building this whole thing. It's done. I have assembled it. I've welded it. I've finished it almost. I ran out of welding wire, so I got a little bit more welding to do, a little more grinding to do, and then I'll take you guys on a full tour of it. But before I do all that, let's go through the journey. Now, the first thing I did was created some sections that would fit on the bottom of what would have been the seat pan where your butt would go and they wrapped around the roll cage tubing. These were relatively straightforward, but here's the process of installing those. All right, so I've got these things mocked up. These are just kind of filler pieces. Uh, I've been working on these for actually the last three hours or so to get them right and fit. I'm gonna weld them in now and then grind the whole thing down and then sort of see where I am with fitting this piece. And then we should be pretty close to being able to weld this whole lot in and uh, grind it down. I just have too much to do to get this thing dialed for this particular video that I'm kind of not recording every bit of it. But literally every step of the way is, you know, what you've seen the last four videos. Paper template, cut it out, refine it with a grinder, and then tack it in. To wrap up the tunnel, I'm doing a little cut and butt, as I've done multiple times in this particular process. What I'm doing is just flush mounting this base so that I have a really nice fit and then I can weld along this seam when the time comes. In fact, I'll probably weld from the inside if possible. All right, here we are. I cut and butt that final piece down there. Can't really tell, so I guess I'm getting a little better at it. And I've definitely been listening to you guys. I'm currently trying to figure out a way to keep this exposed because it looks good, but still cover the rest of it. So we'll see what happens. See what I can figure out along those lines. But I'm getting dangerously close to being able to tack this whole thing together, which is really, really, really exciting for me. Let's make a little patch piece that kind of bridge the gap between the bottom of the tunnel, the thing that this thing goes on basically. There was no, there was no top on it. So I had to make a little piece and weld that in, which I did. It came out great. It looks totally factory. Now this thing fits gorgeously on there. It also acts as the underside of the front panel of the seat. So that thing sort of curves around and will fit on top of the piece that I just made for this. This is kind of a C-shaped flat panel that was trimmed and fit and trimmed and fit and trimmed and fit. Then I used some clamps to clamp it in, tacked it in, and then final welded it and ground it down. Now it looks completely factory. I also spent an entire day, literally an entire day, fabricating and grinding and getting all of the other panels ready to go. It's crazy to think of how much actual prep work has to go in before you weld anything. The welding is sort of the last piece of the puzzle. Everything else is cutting and fitting and cutting and fitting and cutting and fitting and cutting and fitting. But here's that process. Guys, I cannot believe I actually get to say this, but I am officially ready to weld in the rear section that I've been working on for the last month. It is clamped, it is Clecoed, it is ready to go. I'm gonna start with doing three tack welds on the top, then I'm gonna hit two tack welds in the nose on the inside before I figure out what my measurements are for the outside. So let's get right into it. All right, guys, here goes nothing. Okay, now I'm gonna go to the inside and tack to the inside of this nose here. All right, doodlies, we are tacked. 
I caught a little piece of rubber on fire while I was doing it, so that was exciting. But we are tacked in the back here. And I'm not gonna do this back section yet here. I'm actually gonna put the rear panels in right now and make sure the fit is really good on there before I start tacking this stuff down. What I've done here is I've intentionally spread apart these two sections on the tunnel so that these pieces would be a really hard kind of press fit. So now as I push really hard in here, this thing is like all under tension, which is really what I want. It's gonna help when it comes time to like hammer it and get it all nice and clean at the end. Um, what I'm gonna end up doing is I will tack this piece first so it locates it, so it makes sure it's center here, and then I'll get the rest of the stuff dialed in. It's coming together really well, and I am super excited. Necessity is the mother of invention. I needed to press that way on this panel to get it to sink. Of course, I only have one person here, it's just me. So I zip tied a hammer to the bar and then I clamped it with these vice grips and now it's right where I want it to be. The hard part's gonna be getting in there with a uh, welder and getting it to stay where I want it to stay. Exciting is that? Well, you get a load of this welded in seat section. I am so stoked.
Hi Ben, what do you think about my grinding? Yeah, excited. All right dudes, check it out. I just spent about an hour grinding my life away. And come on, that looks awesome. Holy crap, look at that. It's so sick. All right, so next plan is I gotta go get some self etching primer so I can hit these edges. I don't have any seam sealer for the back yet. Um, and I actually ran out of welding wire. There's a couple of spots here and there, kind of some pinholes and stuff like that I'd like to clean up. But otherwise, uh, we're in baby. It's awesome. It is freaking awesome. Okay, I've got a final bit of welding and grinding done. And I mean, for now, that's as good as it's gonna get. So I'm gonna put some self etching primer on here. Then I have a little hint of what is yet to come in the next video. Giving this an acetone wipe. Okay, primer is dry, and I put that front panel on just so you guys could see it. But uh, there you go. What do you think, guys? Let me know in the comments if you've watched this entire rear fabrication series, what you think. Miraculously, now that that is done, I'm going to sneak preview what's coming up in the next couple of videos. Okay, sneak preview of the next couple of episodes. It is now time to wire that engine up. I've got the Haltech where it's supposed to be. I've done that through body plug. The only thing I failed on in this whole process was I didn't move this back panel, this back panel, quite far enough back. And my battery little thing that I made doesn't really fit, but Nevertheless, I'm gonna be wiring up this Haltech. I'm gonna be cleaning that engine off in the next couple of episodes, getting it back in the car and beginning the process of wiring it, which I'm super, super excited about. Well, that was awesome. Certainly tested the limits of my fabrication skills, the patience of my neighbors as I grinded and grinded and grinded and grinded all of those pieces to fit. And what a great result. I could not be happier about it. Thanks so much for hanging out through all of the five episodes of this rear seat delete, which really ended up being more of a rear seat panel fabrication thing. Um, question, I'm considering, I'm not sure if you guys know this, but in real life, I'm a, a public speaker. I go speak at events all over the world uh, about entrepreneurship and podcasting and YouTube and some personal development stuff. Uh, as a side gig, I play some music, neither of which I've been able to do for the last year or so. So I'm actually considering starting a Patreon for this channel. I don't know what people do in that case. I don't know if you guys would be interested in donating or helping out for the Blasphemy build. I've been very fortunate that a lot of cool companies have come on board and sent some cool products, but there are some things I need to do uh, moving forward in the next uh, few months that we'll probably need a little bit of help for. If it's too early or if that's not a thing 
you can let me know. Like if that's, if you can just tell me to go pound sand, that's fine. But if you might be interested in being a contributor to such things, throw it in the comments below. If I get enough people that are like, hey, I'll, I'll buy a cup of coffee every month or whatever, then I'll do it. So if not, no big. Anyway, thank you guys so much as always for watching. We are now down back to the regular normal YouTube algorithm after my huge December and then January, February, March. Now we're sort of back to where we were in November, but all is well in the world. I'm still cranking this thing out. I'm excited that you're here. I'll see you next time.